BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Have you ever received a call from someone claiming to be from the IRS, indicating you owe money, sometimes even being threatened to be put in jail if you will not pay? These scams come in many forms. If someone calls asking for money or personal information, hang up. If you think the caller might be telling the truth, call back to a number you know is genuine. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. Farmers Policy Perks are that little extra something you can get when you're a farmer's customer. So to tell you about them, we're adding a little extra something to this ad. A backup singer. Ooh, singer. When you have the Farmers Signal app with Crash Assist. Crash Assist. If you have an auto accident. We can send help if you want it. Wow, that sounds like a whole lot of something. Get a quote at Farmers.com. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Not available in every state. Only available select farmers branded policies subject to terms and conditions underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance Exchanges or Affiliate. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Now, the Internet, this is what it was made for. I mean, what it's devolved into and social media and all that may be upsetting to a lot of folks. But it was made for a moment that I'm about to tell you about this adorable little girl named Julia who learned how to concentrate thanks to a Sesame Street skit featuring Hugh Jackman and Elmo. And uh, I didn't know that Hugh Jackman was on Sesame Street. I did not know they that. They get all either. the good guests, man. Well, they do. That Elmo, man, he's got some pull. You would think if you're, I don't know who the producer of, of Sesame Street, if it's Elmo or if it's Big Bird or whoever it is making the phone calls, but if they're like, <laughs> it's probably Kermit. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, he feels like he's the guy that would be like, uh, can you? Wondering if you're available for a quick 10 minute interview. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would do that for Kermit. What celebrity would ever say no to Sesame Street? I feel like they can get a yes from, like, you know, it's a struggle sometimes to get interviews with like big name celebrities on any show, like t- TV talk shows, radio shows, podcasts, whatever it may be. Some won't do them. Some have rules. But I feel like with Sesame Street, all bets are off. Yeah, I think you're right. You you have to be the worst human being to turn down Kermit. Yeah. Or, yeah, it's just, I mean, you know, Sesame Street's about, like, you know, teaching the children. And uh, this one was about concentration. And, yeah, it's uh, Hugh Jackman and Elmo. Hi, I'm Hugh. <laughs> okay, and Elmo is Elmo. Yes, and we're here to tell you about a very important word concentrate yeah. now I know concentrate is a pretty big word but it's lots of fun to say right oh yeah, yeah. like yeah. this like this concentrate 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 yeah come on say it with us yeah. concentrate <laughs> now the word concentrate <laughs> means to think really really hard now Elmo knows how to think really really hard you do okay can you show Elmo, us Elmo Elmo will concentrate like this <laughs> That is some concentration, Elmo. Concentrate. Very good. Wow, that's like ten, 10 years ago. I'm looking at this video. Look how young and different Hugh Jackman looks. Oh, and Elmo, too. I mean, Elmo he, does. Yeah, yeah, he looks a lot he, younger. He just kind of let himself go. I wasn't going to yeah. bring that up. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to shame Elmo. That's a good point. Jeez, man. So, well, yeah, what kind yeah, of oh, effect? Yeah, like uh, over a million views on that video. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know because uh, there's little Julia, and here she is, little Julia, with her mom, and they're talking about concentrating. What are you doing, Julia? Mm. Ah. What's the word? Concentrate. Concentrate? Yeah. Who taught you concentrate? Um, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman? Yeah. And Elmo. Elmo. Yeah, concentrate. Show us again. Mm. I was supposed to forget Elmo. I love that Hugh Jackman. She remembered. That's pretty cool. He's called him what, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, well, Hugh Jackman, you know, she's, <laughs> she, she's learning. It's a good thing she watched that video of what Hugh Jackman's talking about as opposed to this. I would swim a sea of 
of human yeah, excrement. That, uh, she'd, be doing yes. uh, she'd be doing something different. Yeah, I don't think mom would post that video on YouTube. No, that wouldn't be a, a thing. Where off of Sesame Street is that C located? <laughs> so this is where... Right. <laughs> this is where the internet really does do something good. Because normally that would just be a moment between Julia and her mom. But because of the internet, Hugh Jackman saw that adorable concentrate video. Of course he did. And he's like, you know what? Let me do what a lot of celebrities are doing. Let me send a message. Hi, Julia. I'm so proud of you for concentrating, <laughs> doing so well. I'm going to practice hard today as well. Like P.T. Barnum once said, no one made a difference by being like anyone else. Happy birthday. Aww. Wow. And the kid now says, who the hell is P.T. Barnum? Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, don't know who that is, but oh, that's the kid because he posted the video as well. Oh, that's sweet. Very, very sweet. I mean, it is. The whole thing is just like sweet. I think it's stupid. Stupid kid. I'm kidding. I, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing no. awful about that. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And that is what the internet was supposed to do. See, now I, oh, this is my way. This I, is your way, what, to get uh, Hugh gonna, Jackman to, to send you a video? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to post videos of Tatum talking to Hugh Jackman. Oh, good call. Nice. That'll be her first word, Hugh. Hugh. Hugh, you know what Hugh called? I mean, Hugh's like he does everything. Remember, he sang for us in the morning. I mean, I would it, swim a sea. Of yeah, human I mean, the, the guy is just yes. like he's open for anything. And you know, we've had other people on the show that wouldn't do a damn thing, right? But I think Hugh Jackman would respond to debate. Oh, he surely would. Or should I just like, have a video of her? <laughs> she clearly can't talk yet, and I'll just be in the background, like kind of like a ventriloquist, and be like, "Hi, Drew, Drew, uh, Hugh. Sorry, called you by the wrong name. <laughs> My baby. I don't really know names all that well. How about Drew Hackman?" Is he available? I can't, I can't seem to get Hugh Jackman, but I'll get Drew, Drew Hack- Shackman. <laughs> hey, Drew Shackman. Yeah, are you available? <laughs> the real reason why Steve had a child is to work on his yeah. ventriloquism and get free cameo videos from <laughs> from celebrities. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but yeah, but again, try to get the uh, person you want's name right. That would be yeah. really helpful. Uh, someone's upset with us. Kermit the Frog is not part of Sesame Street. For goodness sake, guys, Kermit is not Sesame Street. He is the Muppets. Uh, Didn't Kermit cameo on Sesame Street? No, he actually started on Sesame Street. Yeah. yeah they and don't it's all it. Jim Henson. So. Yeah. yeah, suck it, listeners. Yeah. Well, that's Patrick Mahomes. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I'm an MVP. You can kiss my ass. I do believe and Kermit's as well. You ad hole. Wow, that's he was really good. A, one of the OG Muppet characters on Sesame Street. So yeah. He's there hanging out with Cookie Monster. I mean, don't you know? Bunch I'm, of know-it-alls listening to our show, BJ. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they don't it's know. Going away. God, yeah. you're Patrick Mahomes. It's pretty good. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you did start off as, per- as Kermit, but now you've turned into Patrick. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, Patrick the Frog. Well, you know, Hillis, I get you got a Super Bowl ring with that impression. Good for you. Damn right, I did, BJ. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, we got another person that just tried the I got a poop excuse with the cops. That's right. And this time it happened in Yakima. Not uh, Hugh, not Hugh Yakima. It had just happened in regular Yakima, right? I would swim a sea of human yeah. excrement. Steve's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Talking about money with our kids often begins and ends with, how much do you need? Start by helping them learn the difference between needs, such as clothing, and wants, such as money to go to a concert. Share with them how you go about managing your money and what you are saving for and why. Don't be afraid to share the mistakes you have made along the way. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. Farmer's claim forgiveness means a claim won't increase your premium if you've been claim free for five years. So your premium stays premium. Get a quote at farmers.com. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Not available in every state, only available select farmers branded policies subject to terms and conditions underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance Exchanges or Affiliate. 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the MIGS Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Seattle for giving us the MIGS Report, and happy National Redhead Appreciation Day. That's right. Enjoy the redhead. 
oh. friends. Okay. And stuff. I don't know what else to tell you about that. Well, I, you know, <laughs> watch was, I Love Lucy or something. I don't know. <laughs> there was a time where folks with red hair were not regarded very well in humanity. So it's nice to have a day to go look. They're as cool as anybody. Mm-hmm. Appreciate them. And it's also National Great American Pot Pie Day, so enjoy some pot pie while you hang out with your red-headed friends. There was a time where pot pies weren't appreciated. Uh Aha! So that's... uh, uh, Might I suggest a place called Jester's? Jester's. Jester's. Have you heard of it? Yes. They're an, I think they're an Australian chain that somebody opened up in Bellevue, and it's all pot pies. That's all they serve is pot pies in Bellevue Square. Do they have like a napping station after you finish eating them? Oh, typically after I eat a pot pie, I just want to just chill and... Oh, oh, dude, sweet. breakfast pot pies, dinner Ooh. pot pies, and dessert pot pies. Yeah, they call them Aussie and Kiwi-style hand pies. Yeah, they're oh. good. I did not know that's what you that they meant when they called things hand pies. Yeah, I love a good hand pie. Hand pie. Uh, yeah, it's good, man. They're delicious. Yeah, I kind of want to try it out now. Oh, yeah. Hand pies, the better sandwich. Yeah, dude. I mean, they, they are a pot pie. You can, the, like, basically the size of a sandwich. They're so good. So you just hold it? You can hold it if you want to, <laughs> or you can keep your hand pie. Let somebody else hold your hand pie. Looks delicious, man. Oh, it's very good, man. This is, I, I don't need to see these things when I'm hungry. I would, yeah, right? I'm totally with you. Plus, I'm kind of in a bummer mood now, and usually when I'm in a bummer mood, I just want to eat my bummerness away. Uh, sad news as wrestling fans have just woke up this morning to find out that Road Warrior Animal, Joe Laurinaitis, just passed away at the age of 60. Yeah, oh, dude, wow. I saw that. I mean, that's where I'm at right now. That's really young. Yeah, super young. And, and Rev, you remember, we had Joe on our, our podcast oh, gosh, many, yeah. many years ago. And, and my favorite thing about that interview was we told him, because Road Warrior Hawk and Road Warrior Animal, the Road Warriors, they were the reason why I fell in love with wrestling. I just thought they were larger in life. They came out to Black Sabbath. They just seemed like these badasses and just wrecked house. Uh, but but Road Warrior Hawk used to say, to, oh, what a rush. And our boss back in Chicago hired him to voice The Rock. So when you listen to The Rock, oh, really? when you hear that guy saying The Rock, that's Road Warrior Hawk before he passed away. Did it for a couple hundred bucks, and it still lives on to this day. And we shared that story with Road Warrior Animal when we interviewed him. And he got kind of like, you know, not choked up, but a little bit caught up in the moment. Like he was super taken aback that the legacy of his brother was continuing on our radio station. That is a cool thing. It was kind of a cool moment and it was like, you know, something that he didn't hear from anyone else and his son ended up playing in the NFL for a while as well. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's just a bummer to hear that because like, I didn't even realize he was battling any health issues. I know a lot of those old dogs, you know, they've put their body through the ringer and didn't live the healthiest lifestyles but I, I never heard anything about what was going on with him but it's just total bummer to read about that today. Road Warrior Animal passing away at the age yeah. of 60. Uh, Joe Laurinaitis is his actual name. All right, uh, let's talk about something stupid that just happened in Yakima, Washington. Uh, A guy from Yakima is under arrest, and he's facing a bunch of serious drug and identity theft charges. And it all began with not having a light on his bicycle. Okay, what? He was riding his bike in like a dark alley or in a dark part of Yakima. So a cop flashed his lights at him and said, basically he was going to tell the guy, hey, you know, it's kind of important to have a light on your bicycle in a dark roadway. You don't want to put yourself at risk. But when the officer put on his emergency lights, the guy riding his bike freaked out because, well, he has, you know, the cop didn't notice at the time, but this guy's got some issues. You know, he's got oh, some problems, got boy. some warrants for his arrest, got oh, some boy. bad things that he's up to. So he just started speeding off, weaving in and out of certain areas, making multiple turns. At one point, he threw down the bike. He uh, threw his backpack off. He tried jumping a three-foot fence, had a hard time with that. The officer finally threatened to tase the guy. And at that point, that's when he put his hands up saying, I just need to poop. Oh, the poop excuse. Yes. Uh, Sam, 38-year-old guy, well, he was arrested. I'm not sure if they let him poop before or after they arrested him, but they found his backpack. He had three different cell phones in it, brass oh. knuckles, a pill cutter, whoa, 240 bucks in counterfeit money that was marked as prop only, 100 blue oxy pills. A bunch of other stuff, including some pipes, numerous knives, and suspicious checks. These are all the things I used to carry to school when I was in high school. Boy, this guy is like living the other life. He had felony warrants for a bunch of stuff, including heroin possession and identity theft. So, yeah, he's now behind bars. All because he didn't have a light on his bicycle and he just needed to poop, BJ. Yeah, that's he just yeah, you gotta get a light when you need to poop. I just thought that we've had two stories in this week that are about people trying to get out of trouble with the law by saying I have to poop. The woman that got pulled over for speeding. Did they read somewhere that that worked? Is that why everyone's trying to use it? Did, it? did it actually work somewhere we're not aware of? It worked on our show. I told the story once of where I got pulled over for speeding, and the cops like, why were you speeding? And I said, I just really have to poop. And I literally did. Like, I was sweating. I had the poop sweat. So you're to blame. I am. They think now it'll work. 
Yes. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right. You're the poop inspirer. Well, you know, ever since we've been on Radio.com, people can listen to us anywhere, including in Yakima. Oh, yeah. Good old Yakima. Uh, this guy could be the idiot of the day. You'd think that this guy in Yakima is the idiot, but no, let's head on over to uh, Oregon where there's a Nick, guy named Nicholas, and he's 29 years old, and he's at a grocery store with a friend, and for some reason he brought in his handgun, and while he was in the checkout line, he pulled out the gun to show to his friend, and as he put it back in his pants... Oh, yeah, baby. He <laughs> shot himself in the boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So how detailed do you guys want to hear the story? Let's hear it. Come on. Let's go all the way. Oh, really? All right. Well, you might want to cross your legs, BJ, because the bullet went through his groin and exited through his thigh. Oh, okay. He had to go to the hospital, and he did not have a concealed carry license, so he could be looking at charges for that as well. And reckless endangerment. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, and also, he's got a bullet in the boys. Bullet in the boys. (laughs) That was, uh, I think, an 80s metal band. Yeah, that's right. They shortened it to Bullet Boys, but their real name was Bullet in the Boys. Bullet in the boys, yeah. Uh, the Mariners. Yeah, Bullet in the a, Boys. They took a bullet in the boys. Yeah, they did. Lost six to one to the Astros. Oh, I think yeah. all hope is gone at this point. Oh, you think so now, Steve? I'm starting to get off the train. You really getting off the train when a team that was uh, in a division so bad that they could almost qualify with an under 500 record, and yes. now you're thinking, oh, I think I should get off the end. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, speaking of Mariners, uh, have you guys gotten your email about picking up your uh, cardboard cutout yet? Nope. Okay. Uh-oh. No, no, I haven't. Because I thought it was supposed to be on the 24th was the day they were supposed to pick them up, and today's the 23rd. No, that was the last day that you could write them and say, I want it. I need to read these emails better. Yeah. yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Well, no, my buddy Al, he's in Canada, and he's telling me that he was asking me to pick up his, and I was like, how did you already know you got to pick it up? Uh, listen, you tell Al he should read the email. Damn it, Al. Sounders, they're playing the Timbers tonight. They're in Portland. Hopefully nobody shoots themselves in the groin. Uh, that's at 7 p.m. And also Stanley Cup Finals tonight. The series is tied at one game apiece. You have the Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the Dallas Stars. BJ, you can watch that on NBC Sports. As far as weather, 60 degrees and rain. And thanks to Kia of Puyallup for giving us the mix report. Yeah, Tampa Bay is just doing what the, they did to the Bruins. You know, they let the Bruins win the first game handily. And then just spank everyone. Yeah, right? and that's exactly no, what No, I don't yeah. want that. I want Hudobin to win a cup. Oh, do you? I want to just hear his post-cup speech. In the I hope you're room. right, because it's a fun speech, that's yes. for sure. I hope you're right. Uh, and plus, it would make it a more competitive series. Um, we got a woman that was caught on video for going off on a guy in a parking lot of a Home Depot because he parked too close to her car. You can't do that during a pandemic because people have lost their damn minds. You but, have to understand that people are on edge. Dude, if you watch this video, he's not in the wrong at all. She's the one that's parked over the line, and she's mad at him because he parked his car in the lines, and it's making it hard for her to get her daughter in the car. Oh, my gosh. Well, he should have known better, even though it was her fault. Look at this, dude. Like, that's her car. Yeah, she's over the line. Yeah. And, like, she's diagonal. Yeah. So it's it's ridiculous. She's got all the room on her side, but she's completely over the line. Yeah, she is. She's over the line and out of line. Oh, yeah. But she's mad at this guy because, well, he has an SUV and he's parked within the lines. But here's the thing, though. Uh, I think this is completely appropriate because she berates the man through this video for her mistake. And uh, not only that, she claims, oh, hey, you know, the big problem is, buddy, you purchase a large SUV because you are compensating for something. Uh, And like you said, she's the one that's at fault. (laughs) Come on, my daughter has to get in. We want Marie's car. My daughter has to get in. You you Yeah, you 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 heard you, me. Do you, when you open that door, you she do this a lot. Car. Is she okay? No, she's fine. The car is parked too close to her car. Do you see your tire? Let's you get serious. You see the line that you separates these? Tire. And then look at this. You need to stay within the lines. F- you. Oh. F- you. Don't call women crazy. F- You're crazy. Look at you. F- you. F- oh, bitch. Driving a car like that ass. You're not happy, man. I'm. You're an old fart. I am. You're too old to be driving a car like that. It's too I'm, big for you. I'm in disbelief. Pecker. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm looking. You drive this, like this it. Is you drive original. like it. You little tiny pecker. This is So original. you need that picture. <laughs> that is your. <laughs> isn't it? No. You proud of your old. <laughs> but it's your car. That you. Yeah, I can't get it up. Buy I grab my ass. <laughs> You okay, I do love this lady. No, I'm, I'm not. You're fighting with a woman, you I'm, little pecker? I'm not fighting son at all. Son of a bitch! Go on, man, because I'll take you down, you son of a bitch, anytime. I'm, that's oh, that's God, threatening, God. but it's not. I'm in disbelief. <laughs> Y'all crazy, bitch! <laughs> Wow. That's threatening, crazy. but it's not. But it's not. <laughs> this is why. Uh, yeah. 
I shop at Lowe's. Yeah. Oh, this is why you shop at Lowe's. Like, oh, you yeah. don't have the crazy pecker lady. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I want crazy I like pecker lady people. to just narrate everything. I want her to comment on everything. Yeah, I kind of do, too. I feel like she needs like her own TikTok. She really does. Where she just yells at people. Oh, yeah. Is oh. it just me? Like, I know she was complaining. It's like, I can't get it out of my car. I'm like, there's plenty of space for you to get in, even with him parked or with her parked like an idiot. But she can't get her daughter in the passenger yeah, seat because, you know, problem, backing Vicky. out and... Oh. Yeah, we can't back the car out, then yeah. let her get in. That would, no way. Or how about park, I can't park correctly in the first place. Well, again, stop being reasonable. There were reasonable answers that we do not want to have, because if she actually took any of those reasonable answers, we do not get the tiny pecker commentary, and that is what we all needed today. So how does the daughter feel throughout all this? This is like one of those moments where the daughter's like, yeah, welcome to my household. Because yeah. I can't imagine that she's like a real joy to be around at home. Yeah, man. I mean, you just... T- and then take the corona and just add that to the mix. People are just insane. They're fighting over the dumbest things. It's like you could have just get in the car and, and, and moved out. Right. Or you could have made a culprit and said, oh, I'm sorry for you. Or you just don't have any in your act. But I love that the dude's like... This is going to be entertainment. Let me put it on the YouTubes. Oh, yeah, and I was like, let's get real for a minute. Look how you're parked. You're parked yeah. like a moron. And you're and, and she's like going off about him and his big car. He, he's got a Jeep Wrangler. I think it's a four-door. Yeah, like I was expecting like a big old like, like Hummer. Like a Hummer oh, point Steve, six I nine or something. Like some ridiculous size. I remember the Jeep you used to drive, and I always thought, oh, he's got a tiny pecker and he's kind of Oh, thought, yeah, all yeah. The time. yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's why I had to get rid of it. I was sick of the rumors. Yeah, the rumors. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It wasn't the 400,000 miles on that thing. And the no. fact that you can't really fit a baby seat in a two door Jeep right Oh, it was the tiny oh, pecker can't. rumors. <laughs> You knew someday that would happen to you. Somebody would just start going off on you. I love Jake. She said I had to get off of 167 because I was laughing so hard. That's the clip of the year. It is the clip oh. of the year. She's great. Well, and uh, let's, hope we, let's hope we get more from her. And how does she know that he's using Viagra? I see him more as like a blue chew kind of guy. Oh, do you really? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell. I hear it works quicker. Uh, hey, somebody did that? It's actually not that hard wow. to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tiny pecker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's what's up, PJ. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, nice. The textures are. That's literally what's up. <laughs> it's like I cannot go through my day if I do not hear. It, and that's what's up. Well, there you go. Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. Botulinum toxin is commonly referred to as what? Botulism? No. Oh. Boogers? No. You? Uh, dandruff? No. I did not know this until yesterday, that a word that has toxin in it is something that people are putting in their face. Botox is what it means. Hey. You want a shot at BDC, you got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to, to pay back your debt over time. Uh, in credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And, of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Uh, so you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and, of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Are you saving for your child's college education? If so, consider a 529 plan. To find your options, visit savingforcollege.com. You will find a comprehensive list of other states' plans along with details, rankings, tools, and calculators. That's savingforcollege.com. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU.